Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. And once you're done, leave a comment down below and I just might end up responding. Wrestling is choreographed, promos are scripted, and characters are practiced constantly behind the scenes. That's a lot of preparation going into your standard wrestling product. You would be wrong, though, if you think that all goes swimmingly, as that would be genuinely impossible. I'm D. Wicket, and these are the 10 WWE moments that happened by mistake. Number 10, Damien biting Randy. Legally, how was Jake the Snake Roberts? Like, he carried around a live snake everywhere, at all times, and he put it on people during his matches, leaving it to sliver and slide all around his opponents with a threat of potential bites lurking around at all times. That's not illegal somehow? Well, it was at least illegal when Damien, the snake, and Jake the Snake Roberts actually did bite Randy Savage's arm. That shit was insane. And you know, I'm sure if he really wanted to, Savage could like press charges or at least something like that. But still, holy fuck, dude, he got bit by a real snake. Number nine, all of the torn quads. All of them. It's a long-running joke in wrestling that Kevin Nash tears his quads, ha ha, big funny laughs, etc. But that joke actually holds up surprisingly well considering how much it's happened. Kevin Nash has on more than one occasion. One time he literally tore his quad walking across the ring. He, he walked across the ring and his quad, that's, that takes skill, it's impressive. Triple H has on two occasions, in 2001 and in 2007, The Rock during his WrestleMania rematch with John Cena, and perhaps most infamously, Vince McMahon tore both of his quads trying to stand up once rolling into the ring at the 2005 Royal Rumble. You heard me. He tore his quads trying to stand. Kevin Nash tears his quad trying to walk. Vince McMahon tears two quads trying to stand. These are people who've trained their entire lives. Any injury technically could have made this list, but why, why is everyone tearing their goddamn quad? Number eight, Brock Lesnar murders Randy Orton. Not literally, but like almost literally. Brock Lesnar took his elbow to Randy's head with a force that would move mountains. He fucked his head up and ju just look at this. It's continuously just pummeling Randy's head over and over and over and over and over again, nonstop until blood, doctors, and more blood. Hey guys, this top 10 is sponsored by vpings.com. Is your phone background or computer background too plain? Ever wanted an animated wallpaper on your Mac or PC or phone for free? Make your wallpaper come to life with the vpings moving wallpapers app. Available for free download on the Mac or PC or on the App Store and Google Play. Upload your own custom videos as wallpapers to save on your phone or computer or simply download one of the thousand amazing backgrounds already on the app. Surf through and find the background you want, click download live wallpaper and it'll save right to your photos. Then go to your settings and go to wallpapers and choose the background you wanted. It's that simple. Make sure to get it now in the App Store or on Google Play, and you can use the link at the top of the description if you want to get a moving background on your computer, or simply go to vpings.com and click on the Windows or Mac download buttons. Number 7, Undertaker almost dies. WrestleMania 25 saw what many people consider to be the greatest match in the history of professional wrestling, and I'll tell you, it definitely wasn't Triple H versus Randy Orton, and it really, definitely, really wasn't the Diva Battle Royal. That was awful. Of course, the match I'm alluding to would be Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker, and let's be honest, the match definitely deserves its status as one of the greatest of all time. It was fantastic. Little things like this add on to the legacy of the match in a maybe not great way, but an interesting way. Taker was going for a suicide plancha, the big jump over the top rope, and when he went for that jump, Michaels moved out of the way by putting a cameraman in front of him. Quick point, in kayfabe, I don't understand this. Why would you not just move out of the way what's the significance of putting the cameraman there obviously in real life he's trying to protect the man from diving straight onto his head but like in kayfabe terms wouldn't you want him to land on anyway he landed on his fucking head still and it's because of this cameraman it was bad Number six, every wardrobe malfunction ever. Poor wrestlers, man. Poor wrestlers and their poor wrestler clothing. For some reason, it always finds its way coming loose. I could rattle off countless times, dates, and names of occasions when unfortunate wrestlers had to deal with some clothing coming off, both the boys and the girls. Ugh. And you know what? I don't like it. I don't like it personally. Squared Circle probably doesn't agree. I assume the new Diva Forum folks probably don't either. But I don't like it. Just leave the poor bastards alone. And how how has it happened so many times? Like, you could seriously go through every single diva from 2000 onward. And 
over a third of them easily have had a wardrobe malfunction and Dave Batista. Number five, Shawn Michaels versus Hulk Hogan. Obviously the match itself was planned, but God, what a mess it actually was. Entirely due to the fact that originally there were three matches planned and Shawn was told he would be winning over Hulk at least once. And then suddenly going into the 2005 SummerSlam match, he heard that he was only fighting Hulk Hogan once and losing and Michaels just didn't give a fuck anymore. He oversold the match like he was Dolph Ziggler on crack. At one point, Hulk Hogan went for his Hulk up and his punch and he just flopped out of the ring and just flew around. He was flopping all over the damn ring like an octopus in a washing machine. Number four, Foley's Fall. King of the Ring 1998 has to be one of the most infamous wrestling pay-per-views of all time. In fact, Mankind vs. The Undertaker itself has to be the most infamous wrestling match of all time. I mean it. You had two of the most unbelievable events in all of professional wrestling occur within the span of about 10 minutes. Mick Foley falling from the cell. Mick Foley being thrown off Hell in a Cell is... It's just everything. Him going straight through the announcer's table. It was insane. Take nothing away from it. It was crazy enough. But then the mad bastard climbed back up the cell got up, started brawling with The Undertaker again, and then he got choke slammed through the goddamn cell, which was not supposed to break. He was supposed to just take a choke slam on top of the cell and probably be pinned up there. Even though, I don't know if you can pin people on top of the cell, but that's not the point. He, was, he wasn't supposed to fall through. It, the cell was not gimmicked. He was just too heavy and he went through and he caved in the ring oh my ugh. number three undertaker's fireball the undertaker he's just not having a good time on this list is he whether he's diving to his near death or throwing mcfoy to his near death or or how about this when he was walking to the ring in elimination chamber 2010 taker was accidentally hit by a damn fireball they were part of his entrance and well just imagine being the dude who lit a literal flame underneath one of the greatest legends in all of professional wrestling. Imagine being that guy. Number two, Daniel Bryan. Yes, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan happened by mistake. Don't quote that to his parents. More specifically, I guess Daniel Bryan's WrestleMania 30 WWE World Heavyweight Championship win happened by mistake. I mean, it was booked by WWE, yes, but it definitely was not the plan for his character. When Triple H called Daniel Bryan a B-plus player, a talented worker but not a main event level champion, someone who shouldn't be the face of the company, he was speaking through Vince McMahon, and Vince McMahon meant every word he said. Daniel Bryan's underdog story was never supposed to see the light of day, but thanks to guys like CM Punk for breaking down the walls for smaller guys in the business, and thanks to fan support hailing in from all across arenas all over the world for Daniel Bryan, he got his moment, his big WrestleMania moment. He's a B-plus player. That's pretty good. He's good for business. And number one, Chris Jericho punching Shawn Michaels' wife. Like, like for real. He, he really punched his wife right in the face right in the mouth. Not very nice of you, Mr. Y2J. Of course, of course it was an accident. I assume Jericho's intention was not to break down the walls of kayfabe and shatter a few of his phony foe's wife's teeth. But well, it happened, and hey-ho, I'm sure Shawn Michaels was a very happy camper when he realized that his kayfabe opponent Chris Jericho just went from long-running fake rival to newfound real-life rival. No, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm sure they made up. It was accidental, but, you know, maybe, just maybe, Michaels is actually on the list of Jericho. If you have even the slightest amount of human decency, you will get out of this ring right now. You shall never forget that I'm the one who damaged your eye beyond repair, and I want to hear you say it. Eye to eye and saying that Chris Jericho put you out for good. And those are the 10 WWE moments that happened by mistake. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments down below. And while you're there, be sure to click all the different buttons, including the subscribe button, the like button, the little notifications bell, and all that great shit.